Hi guys, it's Timmy with Yellow Spark Story. Welcome to my channel. So before I get started with this video, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel and you're a regular viewer, please, please, please click on the subscribe button as well as the notification bell because it really, really helps my channel grow when you subscribe. And if you're new here, welcome. If you like fashion and lifestyle content, especially handbags, then you would want to stick around to so please consider subscribing. Now, I'm very happy to share my latest purchase with you in today's video because this is a handbag that I've always wanted or I've wanted for like two years now, but there was just always something that kept holding me back. Maybe it wasn't the right size or the right color. I actually, last year, I almost bought it in the small size in the buttercup, but I kept stalling and then I was like, oh, it's not the right shade of yellow. And so I never got that color. But finally, with this drop, spring 2022, Coach came out with the perfect color for me in this tote. And I am so happy to reveal my Cashin Carry 32. Oh my God. So if you watched my previous video, I did a walkthrough or a come shop with me when I went to the Coach store last weekend and I went specifically to pick up this bag. Now this bag was supposedly made in limited quantities. So even the amount of these items that arrived in Canada were limited and it didn't get to every store. So when I called my, so it, it is available online though, right? But I wanted to see in person before purchasing. So I called my store and asked them um, if they had it in store and not surprisingly, they did not. So they had to request a store transfer from one of the stores in Vancouver because Vancouver is a much busier um, city merchandise wise i guess for coach so they had some in vancouver and then they had to transfer to my store in calgary so they transferred this uh cashing carry in the two colors well it comes in three colors this season um papaya this blue fin and then the green color that is in original natural leather so they transferred the papaya and the blue fin because those were the two that i was interested in and you know, deep down in my heart, I kind of always knew that I was going to buy the blue fin. But I just wanted to see the papaya because that's what most of the people that I knew were buying. And you know, I get it. When I saw that the, um, that papaya, and if you've not watched my Come Shopping With Me, I'll leave it linked below so you can check out that video. When I saw the papaya, I'm like, this is a very beautiful color. It will make a beautiful handbag if there was no blue fin. I'm so in love with this bag. Everyone who has seen this bag just keeps saying, oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful because it's, it really is a beautiful bag. And I don't have any um, handbag in my collection that is in blue. The closest I have is my clear top handle that I just got in the chambray. And, oh, I'm just, I've been gushing over this, um, since I got it. It is so elegant. It is everything I love in a handbag. It's smooth gloved hand leather and I think that just accentuates the structure of the bag and the curves and it is an open tote. So we'll go through the entire bag. Let me turn it around so you can see. Look at that blue. That is, this is like the perfect saturation of the color blue. Like for a dark blue, this is the perfect level. It's of made of a smooth gloved tan leather and it does have a very light like a sky blue um, stitching running through it so that creates a very nice contrast and contrary to what i used to think this is very lightweight i think compared to the ones from last year this is lighter and i don't really think that the thin straps are going to be a problem this is one of the issues that a lot of people have i've had with the cashing carry is the fact that the handles um, are very thin so you wonder how that is going to wear when you have all your items in there but I guess they wanted to keep this particular style true to its origins now this style is one that is not new it was first designed and made in 1969 by the then lead director actually the first lead designer of coach Bonnie Cashin and it was named after her so hence the Cashin carry and yeah, and this was the original design. Definitely the design works, otherwise they won't keep making so it. So let me show you around the bag. It comes with this tag here. 
um, you can see that there's some other ball links there but I'll show you why later but this is how the bag comes and then this is the bottom it has four feet which I really really appreciate and it says their original glove tan leather so that really is all there is to the bag there's nothing more the aesthetic is very clean very simple and I love that about this it's not every time you need so many bells and whistles on a handbag I also love the size great for travel great for work and on the inside it has a magnetic closure which is fairly strong it's not the strongest magnet I've come across but it's not bad either so that's how you close it um, when the bag arrives it comes in tucked in so you can tuck it in when you use the crossbody or shoulder strap because it does come with crossbody straps and I'll show you those later but you can tuck it in that way just to keep it out of the way so let's go into the bag and inside the bag it has that really nice 1941 fabric lining now if you're not familiar with coach 1941 I associate the term 1941 to the top range highest of the highest um, leather handbags that coach does although they've officially um, ended or discontinued their 1941 line when any of their bags have any 1941 elements I believe like it's the best of the best so I really really appreciate that they took their time with the cashing 32 and it has all of those 1941 elements so it has that nice linen fabric in there it comes with the 1941 dust bag as well which is a nice thick cottony material different from the regular satin that they use for their other bags and then it has two straps so i'm very very happy that they made two extra straps with this bag i mean it's like you're getting more value for your money if you have these options and you can use them on any other bags you can always interchange them with your other bags as well so it does come with this nice all leather strap with the brass hardware and it is adjustable it has one two three four five grommets that you can adjust it with it's thin it's not very wide but i think it's the perfect width and when you use this on the bag it has um the d rings right here on the side of the bag right there has one on each side and so when you use that on the back the strap drop is 21 and a half inches drop now the web strap I really really like I like the fact that coach is using this webbing strap a lot more in their bags and it just gives an option for versatility um, I can see myself using this on other bags already so this is so good I'm actually happy that it comes in blue and black because on the website when you check the picture for this bag it shows like an ox blood and a black strap with the blue fin and um, I wasn't too pleased about that but I was very happy when I saw these um, when I saw real life pictures of this bag and I saw that it came with the blue strap as well so I really like it it's very thick very wide and this one has a 25 inch strap drop so the top handle is six inches in drop wide enough to put over your shoulder if you'd like to carry it like that it is 12 and three quarters inches in length 11 and a quarter inch in height and a five and a quarter inch in width so really nice size definitely hold a lot of stuff it will hold a laptop this is my Asus laptop. I don't know what size it is. Please don't kill me. I'm not a um, I'm not a tech person, but this is technically a notebook. It fits standing like that. Let me see if it'll fit the other way. Well, yes, if I do it like diagonally, it fits, but I don't think I would ever want to carry it like that. I'll probably just carry it lengthwise. And I'm fine with it sticking out a little bit. So, and back to the interior. Okay, I still have my um, receipt in there. And yeah, that's all there is. Just that one compartment. And then you have one slip compartment in front with a push button, press button closure like that. Um, that would definitely fit my phone. Of course, it would fit any phone. It's big and it's deep. And then on the other side, on the back, you have a zipper closure, which is also nice and wide and deep. 
and i like that this carries the zipper pull with the circle end because then you can attach your keys or a key pouch or hand sanitizer anything that can go through that tiny hole and that's very true to the original design of this bag it does have a few leather elements like the trim here is leather um the pull is leather and then of course the story patch is also leather and this story patch has it it has a drawing of the um bag and it says this is a coach cash and carry tote it is crafted to last a re-edition of an archival design from 1968 it says i think yeah 1968 its iconic silhouette was inspired by shopping bags on the streets of new york so that's pretty much everything you have to the bag it's a classic it's simple it's chic and i just love love everything about it now because this is smooth leather you are definitely going to see some wear and tear on it as time goes by so I don't necessarily baby my bags but i would just say be careful if you have this bag or any smooth leather bag for that matter just pay more attention to it and just be more careful with it now when i was at the store i decided that on some days yes i like the plain and simplistic nature of it the minimalist vibe that it has but i know that there definitely be other days where i want to jazz this up and i do have quite a number of keychains here that i'm going to get into but i still wanted something that would remind me of when i went to get this bag and i got a a tag a hand tag hot stamped with my name on there and she is so beautiful so so beautiful initially i wanted one in blue a similar blue to this blue thing but they didn't have the blue that i wanted in the big hand tag now coach does this hand tag that you can monogram anything on and they have it in two sizes this is the larger size and they have a smaller size that's similar to the original one that comes with this bag now they had a blue that was very close to this color but they didn't have it in the large size they had it in this small size and i wanted the big one you know so it could stand out and make a statement on the bag so i opted instead to go for the white since that baby blue contrast stitching or sky blue contrast stitching kind of looks like white like a grayish white so I decided instead to go with the big white hand tag and I am glad I did because it looks so gorgeous particularly because I got it hot stamped in dark blue so that just makes a world of difference on this handbag and I have my name so the letters T E and the butterfly represents an M and then the letter I because I love butterflies so I thought that was just so pretty and on the other side of the hand tag it just says coach New York plain there and if you want to see how this hand tag was hot stamped you can watch my last shop with me video where I also show at the end my essay hot stamping this for me now in addition to this I thought it would be also nice to add my Vancouver skyline hand tag sometimes when I'm using this bag as well so now I haven't used the bag yet so I don't know if I'm going to use all three together or when I'm going to use all three together but I just thought it also looked nice like it added that black element to this and I got this when I got my made to order rogue from the flagship store in Vancouver Canada and if you've not watched that video I will link it below as well so you can go watch and see my made to order rogue the bag that is uniquely mine that I created myself so I got this to commemorate that because that order went through the flagship store in Vancouver so I got the um, hand tag with the Vancouver skyline monogrammed on it which only certain stores have so if you go to certain cities like New York Vancouver Canada they have the hot stamp of their skyline and they can make these unique tags for you so I thought those three um, hand tags look really nice together but besides the hand tags let's play dress up because you guys know i like um playing with my bags so i'm going to put some bag charms and you guys can tell me what you think i think this color is so beautiful because it goes with so many other colors and i'll show you that by putting a red cherries hand tag on that now this i got from coach retail the boutique and it's so beautiful now you can i can simply put it on the um, handle there but what I prefer to do is to use a a balding chain and I got this off Amazon in like a 50 pack or something it's really a lot I will leave it linked below I got it in the gold and in the silver so it matches whatever bag 
I want to use it on and then I would and then I'll just hang that off of there what do you guys think isn't it gorgeous like it's red but it goes so well with the blue like it's a very nice contrast and I love that now I'm going to try my pink cherries from the outlet so from coach outlet I got these pink cherries which I think are adorable I got this before I got this this was what I wanted but I saw this first and I bought it and then I saw this and I bought that too so let's put the pink cherries with the green leaves what do you guys think about this one what do you think about the length is it a bit too low would it be better if it was higher maybe I should just attach it to the handle without attaching it to the chain link how does this look better let me know let me know what you guys think let's change that up to green I love dark blue and dark green especially especially for summer my rogue um 25 in green last year i used that thing all the time and i was almost always wearing a dark blue outfit whenever i used that handbag look at that blue and green perfect combination for summer i'm telling you guys perfect so what do you think let me know which one is your favorite do you like the apple do you like the cherries do you like the length to be a bit longer or to be a bit shorter I think I like this one longer because it's not a very long charm but let me know what you guys think in the comments and finally the charm of the moment honestly everybody in the US has been dying waiting for this charm to be released I don't know how Canada got it first but we did and it is the butterfly cluster charm from the denim collection from coach outlet so there we go ha very very cute i love the contrast of the different blues and the brown that is on there what no you guys have to let me know seriously which one is your favorite why is it your favorite do you like it longer shorter would you wear would you even use these colors on these bags at all seriously seriously let me know and speaking about using colors on the bag last but not the least, I wanted to ask your opinion about SLGs. So I have no idea what SLGs I'm going to be using in this bag. I feel like they're going to change depending on where I'm going, what I'm doing, what outfit I'm wearing. But I am traveling in a couple of days and this bag is definitely coming with me. It's spring, it's still early spring, but I have no idea what SLGs will go with this bag for early spring. So. I have these in signature canvas in the light brown these are all from coach outlet let me know should I use this in this light brown and white I think this is really cute really really cute or should I use this metallic gold from dress up your purse all of these items are from dress up your purse and I think it gives it a very very nice pop so yeah that's the next option or should I use my LV SLGs so this is the Damiazur which I think the blue of the Damiazur goes so beautifully with this and that's a card holder daily in Damiazur and this boxy cosmetic in a small size is from coach outlet and it has cute lipsticks on it what like can you guys see why i'm confused <laughs> like everything goes so well everything looks so good but i don't know i don't know what i'm doing please let me know please let me know you know what if i use this set i might take my favorite mm in the mezzo with me and put it in the bag so that would be like my everyday crossbody and this would be the bigger tote I don't know let me know let me know guys i'm so confused i'm honestly i genuinely need your opinions in the description in the comments below because i have no idea or should i go all multicolored so here i have some reds i may not use all the reds but just so you can see and then i have a white and yellow so like multicolored what do you guys think like all of these beautiful colors inside that bag like confused here please help me out i would love to know what you think which bag charm was best on the bag and at what length 
and which SLG combination I should use this spring with this beautiful gorgeous cash and carry 32 in the blue fin so if you like today's video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel i would love for you to stick around and hit the tiny notification bell beside the subscribe button so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video i'll see you in my next one bye